Well, it seems like a day of suboptimal news. I guess in the grand scheme of things, we can look at this and say, we've been winning so much that we were eventually going to be due an L. Obviously, with the Matt Gates thing sucked, but that may have been, you know, Trump's art of the deal thing a little bit, going with a big ask and 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 hoping to have like some sort of different. I, I don't know, um, but also we now have an update on the Juicy Sommelier case, a case in which he race baited, he created a hoax crime against himself, famously telling reporters and police that two men went after him and put a piece of rope around him and uh, sprayed him with some sort of substance. And then for whatever reason, shouted out, this is mega country in downtown Chicago at 1 a.m. in front of a Subway sandwiches. There isn't a single person on the planet that believes for even one second that he did not lie about this event in order to help his career. The two gentlemen that he hired and paid with U.S. American dollars to perpetrate this hoax confirmed that it was fake. And yet we have liberal judges and Democrats in power. And today we have some pathetic updates. I do want to let everyone know I'm running a Black Friday sale for the next 100 people on the quartering.com. I think 20 people joined during the live stream. So there's 80 spots left. 40% off your first month, promo code MONTHLY40, and 20% off the yearly membership, which is already on sale. The best deal by far would be taking that annual with 20% off um, to join on thequartering.com. What do you get for that? Well, you get three exclusive members-only videos per week, every single week, not available anywhere else but thequartering.com. You also get members-only discounts. Listen to these carefully. 15% off ammunition. 20% off standalone orders from Coffee Brand Coffee, 15% um, off Anton's Biltong, 30% off Sheath, free gifts and extra discounts on Meta PC's um, Cultivated Mind discounts. I'm adding more discounts every week or so, so that the basically the membership free fee pay for its, pays for itself with exclusive discounts. You also get a members only Discord where you can talk directly to me. I'm in there chatting with people. We're gaming. We're having all sorts of fun in there. So maybe you don't like Discord. You get the members only uh, videos and the and the discounts. Maybe you do, but there's something for everyone. And I really, really hope that you'll join today to help us continue. And we're adding more. We're working on, you can see on the page right now, we're 77% we're of the way to launching a mobile app. Um, and then 64% of the way to uh, having a members only live stream that extends 30% after or 30 minutes after shows for members only. We're very close to our server upgrade. So quartering.com slash join the first hundred only get the discount. So hopefully you'll check that out. Illinois Supreme Court overturns Juicy Sommelier's conviction. A deal's a deal. And that means Juicy Sommelier's conviction in the hate crime hoax case is now reversed and he cannot be tried again. According to corrupt Illinois Supreme Court. Illinois High Court Tuesday ruled that Jussie's deal with the Cook County prosecutors, which was corrupt in the first place, had to be honored. This is very much like the Cosby deal, where the deal was a sweetheart deal that was almost certainly corrupt, but the prosecutors were forced to honor it because, quote unquote, a deal is a deal. Now, this guy perpetrated one of the most hilariously fake hoaxes ever. And now he gets to walk away with it. He cost the city tens of thousands of dollars in overtime. He sought to profit off, to, off of fabricating um, a crime set to divide people and smear Trump supporters. He took police overtime investigating the hoax. All of this crap Juicy Sommelier did with absolutely no remorse whatsoever. Illinois High Court ruled that uh, the corrupt state attorneys, Kim Fox, which of course took a call from Michelle Obama as a personal favor to get him off in the first place, struck a corrupt plea deal with the actor, requiring him to forfeit his $10,000 bond and do a whole 15 hours in community service. The court's ruling says, 
because Jussie held up his end of the deal, he actually did a whole 18 hours of service, he should not have been subject to a second prosecution, even though that deal was 100% corrupt. That's when he was convicted of a felony, disorderly conduct, and sent to jail, briefly, until he appealed the decision. Remember when he famously said, I'm, I, I'm not going to self-delete. He had been sentenced to 30 months probation with the first 150 days be served in Cook County Jail. You recall Jesse made an emotional, defiant exit as a bailiff took him out of court. It's a ruling that Illinois Supreme Court said today resolve a question, a question about the state's responsibility to honor the agreements made with defendants. In its decision, the court said simply the state is bound by the agreement. So then what are we going to do about Kim Fox? the corrupt prosecutor or attorney general, whoever this was, that clearly called in favors, uh, you know, uh, to get him off of this crime. Called in all sorts of favors to get him off of this crime. It's worth noting that the Supreme Court did not weigh in on the merits of the actual case, just that a deal is a deal. Jesse Smollett is a free man. It is both stunning and not unexpected. The uh -huh. Illinois Supreme Court uh, has said this is just like the Bill Cosby case. I knew he was going to say that. Uh, the prosecutor struck a deal, with, in this case, with Jesse Smollett. And the deal the first time around when Kim Fox, the state's attorney, filed charges, the deal Corrupt. was do 15 hours of community service, pay $10,000 for the cost of investigating this case in the field. Uh, and uh, we will drop the case. Um, they dropped the case. Um, and Again, records. Former Michelle Obama aide, Smollett relative, reached out to Kim Fox. So a, a Michelle Obama aide and a relative of Smollett reached out to Kim Fox. She's corrupt. Fox's call to Johnson came as an influential support of the Empire actor, reached out to Kim Fox directly. Tina Chen, a Chicago attorney and former chief of staff for First Lady Michelle Obama, according to emails and text messages provided by Fox to the Chicago Sun-Times in response to public records requests. Chen passed Fox's number to a relative of the actor and ensuring ensuing conversation with the family were cited by Fox last month and the reason she recused herself from Smollett's prosecution. The actor faces disorderly conduct charges for making... I mean, are you joking... I wanted to give you a call on behalf of Jussie Smollett and a family who I know. They have concerns about the investigation, Chen wrote in a text sent just before 5 a.m., seeking to set up a call with Fox before she left on an 8 a.m. flight. A few hours later, Kim Fox received a text from a relative of Smollett who said she'd received a number from Chen. In an interview with Sun Times this week, Fox says the family member expressed concerns about leaked private information about the investigation, information that the media outlets attributed to, quote, police sources. They had no doubt about the quality of the investigation, but believed that the FBI would held a tighter lid on the information, said Fox Johnson initially said. Fox said she made it clear, similar calls to Johnson about the case. I mean, this was corruption at its core. I mean, this is, this is insane to me. There isn't a single person alive who thinks that he's not guilty of this. So if you're going to honor that deal, here's what I have to say. Fine, honor the deal, but then Kim Fox has to serve his 150-day sentence instead of him. Right? When Smollett first came forward with the story, the actor was met with widespread support, and Chicago PD vowed to swiftly find the actors. Smollett even showed police this fake news that he claimed he was, quote, lynched with. Although Smollett claimed he was attacked by two white Trump supporters, detectives reviewed surveillance footage and zeroed on two black men, whom which we know now later were paid by Smollett to fake this incident. Uh, I mean, everybody needs to go to jail with this. When presented with a grainy surveillance picture of the brothers near the scene, Smollett said that they were absolutely the men who he attacked them, who attacked him, not realizing that they, in fact, had already been arrested. By that time, stories had leaked that the defectives believes, uh, detectives believed that Smollett had concocted this story, seemingly in an attempt to boost his public profile, 
which of course he did. Smollett then went on Good Morning America to tearfully insist that he wasn't lying and that he was in fact the victim. His lawyer, and uh, leading his lawyer to offer a bizarre explanation that his Nigerian attackers could have just been wearing white makeup. They literally said that they were wearing white face. These two brothers are as dark as night. Are you joking? They, they put white powder on their face and so J Jussie Smollett thought that they were white people? What? Here's some uh, $2.99 twine that never would have held up if you actually tried to use it to do anything he's claiming. Uh, I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. The fact that the Democrat Supreme Court let him off the hook is an absolute miscarriage of justice. Disgusting. All of these people should be disbarred. Kim Fox should be in prison. It's an absolute joke. I hope you're informed by this video if you, if you, if you were. Please do consider joining the courting.com using promo code monthly 40 on the monthly sign up or yearly 20 on the yearly to save huge. I'm only letting the first 100 people to, uh, to redeem this. You can see right now, Jay Frost, Spud Jr., the alchemist of beans just joined. So when you join, you get shouted out on the homepage here. I look forward to seeing you in the discord. There's also a tutorial, how to use a discord. If you don't know the members only videos and the discounts alone are awesome. We're working on an app and so much more. So I absolutely hope that you'll support me and we'll talk to you again real soon.